Well, their names are iconic. Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins. Each of these legendary singer-songwriters had individual careers that impacted the music industry in, well, seismic ways. Did you know that one night, and one night only, they all gathered in the same place for a jam session, unlike any other to that point and probably ever since? That's the story behind the musical The Million Dollar Quartet, which is at Detroit Music Hall, presented by Hollywood Casino at Greektown. Joining us now is the king himself, Elvis Presley, also known as Jacob Barton. Uh, thanks for being with us, Jacob. Hey, thanks so much for having me. And this is all based on a true story. Uh, yes, it actually is. It, it was about this one night in Memphis where Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins, and Jerry Lee Lewis were all just happened to be at Sun Records for a Christmas party. And Sam Phillips went and hit the record button and he recorded everything they did that night. Uh, it's a wonderful story. So what about playing Elvis? Is there a challenge with that? Because there's so many, obviously, Elvis impersonators <laughs> and tribute acts out there. But also there's a lot of different Elvises who have appeared on the screen, uh, you know, most notably Kurt Russell. Absolutely. And, and he had such a long career that there are many different versions of Elvis. You know, later in life, Elvis is very different from early Elvis. And early Elvis is different from middle Elvis or Hawaii Elvis. And everybody has their favorite Elvis. So I try to bring as much of Elvis out of myself into the role. And... Yeah, it is, a, it is a very different challenge than building a character from scratch, than building a character based on a real person. Well, you know, Carl Perkins and and, um, and Elvis, obviously, th th those are two big names. But in terms of Jerry Lee Lewis, the actor playing him, uh, it looks like he's having a lot of fun in this B-roll. Oh, he's having the most fun. The, the story actually is kind of wrapped around Jerry Lee Lewis because he's the new kid in the studio and he's not famous yet and the other three boys are. So he's very excited and he's trying to show off for them and he begins and ends the show in that way. And it's, it's just, he's so energetic. <laughs> so of all the music, you know, the music that's in this play, in this show, who's, which of the four musicians is your favorite? Do you like Elvis you know, the best? The, the, Do you like Jerry Lee the best? Do you like Johnny Cash? I mean, El El Elvis is the king of rock and roll, but the show has really given me an appreciation for Carl Perkins, who wrote Blue Suede Shoes and a lot of other songs that people just don't realize because he didn't get as famous as the other guys. Um, but he's such a good guitar player, and he plays so many different kinds of styles of music. It's just kind of amazing that he was doing all of that back then. Do you and the other actors actually play the instruments? Uh, yeah, it's all live. I like to make the joke that it's all live music, all live hair. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, we play uh, guitar, acoustic, electric. He's playing that piano and all that video. That's all him, all live. <laughs> well, that's that's another layer of complexity there. That's amazing, especially with yes. Andy can do the splits off the piano, Ben. Try about that. Uh, hey, if people want yeah. to see the show, what should they do? Uh, they can go to milliondollarquartetlive.com or they can go to any of our venues that we're hitting on the road. They're also selling tickets there. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's going to be wonderful. Can't wait to see everyone. Well, we are out of time, sadly, because this is uh, one show that I could talk for a long time about. Jacob, thank you so much. Me too. No problem. Thank you for having me. Tati.